Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be taking a look at how to set up a folded double-sided business card. This is a two times the size business card, and this time we're setting it up in Adobe Photoshop. I am using a little bit older version of Photoshop than uh, I know they've got Adobe CC out there. I'm still working in Photoshop 5.5, but everything that I'm doing here, plus more, uh, you can do if you have the latest version of Photoshop, so no problems there. And we're just gonna be going through the setup. I'm not gonna be going through all kinds of different tools. I don't typically do uh, Photoshop tutorials just because most people don't have Photoshop, but pretty much everyone has. Microsoft Office, so I spend a lot of my time doing tutorials on Microsoft Office as I have a much larger audience for that. But today we are going to go ahead and take a look at Photoshop and how to go about setting up uh, the business card and then also where would you put your guides so that everything falls in the correct place. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go up to the file menu and we're going to say we want to do a new document and you can go ahead and name this if you want to. Um, you don't need to, you, we can just leave it for now as Untitled One. Actually, let's go ahead and say uh, double, double-sided, oops, business card. Um, double-sided business card. There we go. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to change some of these settings here. So the first thing is we want to work in a resolution of 600 pixels per inch. And the reason is, as business cards, you typically have really fine, small fonts, <coughs> usually like six to eight point. <coughs> Excuse me. Usually six to eight point, um, just because it's such a small space to write in. And so having a higher resolution, you're going to get a much better... Uh, or sharper print on those really fine fonts. Uh, color mode, we're just going to leave that in RGB. 8-bit is fine. Uh, we can leave the background white. But what we want to change is the size of the canvas. Um, so the width of a business card is 3.5 inches. And uh, we want to leave a quarter inch of room here for bleed. So we're going to go ahead and leave this at 4 inches. So it gives a quarter inch on each side. Um, and then the height of a business card is two inches, so times two, four, quarter inch on each side gives us 4.5 uh, inches high. All right, so we'll go ahead and say okay. And this is what we're gonna be working with. Now we need to be able to view the ruler here because we need to put some guides and things in, so we're going to go up here to rulers and from here we can start to drag out some guides so the first thing we want to do is figure out where the half is now one of the great things about working in Photoshop is when we drag a guide if we click and drag off of the top ruler here if we hold down the shift key you'll notice that uh, it snaps to the nearest uh, tick mark on the on the left hand ruler so holding down the shift we're gonna go right to two and a quarter inches from the top um, go ahead and let go and we've got our first guide in place now this is the this is the fold line what we just put in is the fold line this uh, bottom piece right here would be the front of the card this would be the back of the card and then we would need to create a second document for the inside of the card, but we'll cover that in a little bit. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and set up our um, where it's gonna get cut, so cut lines all the way around. So really simple, we're gonna click and drag on the ruler, holding down the shift key, we're gonna go to a quarter inch from the edge here, a quarter inch from this edge, we can go to the top, a quarter inch, and a quarter inch. Now you don't necessarily need to have a quarter inch of bleed if your design is not going to run all the way to the edge. You don't need any bleed at all. Um, and a lot of sites like Vista Print only require an eighth inch of a bleed. 
I put in a quarter inch bleed just because I'm printing my own cards. It gives me a lot better uh, or a lot more room to you know, you know, run something off of the border. So that's why I do that. Uh, the next thing is is to set up guides for the the kind of the safe area. This uh, title safe, text safe, if you want. And so I'm going to go in um, an eighth of an inch from each one of those cut lines. Uh, you want at least an eighth of an inch. Here we go. Let's drag that one out. Eighth of an inch. And we want to do the same thing from the fold line at least an eighth of an inch from the fold line on either side. And so now this area here is our picture and text safe area. It's not going to get cut off and it's not going to be too close to the edge. Um, same thing for the back of the card here. Uh, the next thing that I would do, uh, you could do this Whenever you're done print, uh, um, setting this all up, you're still going to need to put it inside of another program in order to print it, right? You're not going to print it right out of Photoshop. So you're either going to set it up inside of Adobe InDesign uh, or you're going to save this out as a JPEG or a PNG and you're going to uh, drop it into a publisher file and then print it from either publisher or InDesign. Um, or perhaps you're going to upload it to some place like Vista Print and have them print it. And, and send it out to you. So in that case, if you were going to submit your, your card, even if it was going to be a double-sided folded business card, uh, you would want to make sure you go to that website or to that printer and find out what their specifications are for uploading each piece of your card because a lot of them would probably not set it up this way. Uh, the way I'm showing you would be if you're going to print it yourself. More than likely, if you went out to Vista Print, and I don't know this for a fact, but you would ha you'd have to check it out. If you went out to Vista Print, they would probably have you do the front, the inside left, inside right, or inside top bottom, and the back as separate files. Um, once again, I don't know that for a fact, but more than likely, that's how they would set it up. So this setup that I'm showing you is if you're going to print it for yourself. So in this case, I would go ahead and put in um, some cut lines where the actual cuts are going to happen. And to do that, we just need the line tool. So we can click right here uh, and say line. And then I believe it's been a little while since I've done this. So let's go line color, black, OK. Uh, right now, the width is set to one pixel which is um, really, really tiny. Um, so let's go with 0.5 point. Uh, let's see if that, um, oh no, 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 I'm sorry. It was, it's gonna automatically jump to one point. So that's okay. We'll keep it as one point. And we're gonna start right about here. I don't wanna go all the way to the to the edge because otherwise the cut line will show up. Um, I'm going to hold down the shift key, click and drag, and there we go. We actually have a, a line there. Now I'm thinking one point might be too small, so let's go um, two point, and let's just see what happens here. Um, try two points. I'm going to hold down the shift key, click and drag, and two points is way too large. So the one point was was perfectly fine. Um, so we'll go one point, hold down the shift, drag, and then we can do this from here. The nice thing about Photoshop is whatever tool you're working with, it automatically stays on that tool and inside of publisher if you're like drawing lines you always have to go back and click the line tool every time you want to put a line in um, it doesn't make any sense to me maybe it's something Microsoft will fix in the future who knows um, but I'm just gonna go on all these cut lines and I'm just holding down the shift key clicking and dragging and it's putting in the cut lines. 
Now, um, as you can see, as I was putting these lines and stuff in, um, new layers and stuff are being created over here on the layers palette on the side. Um, so you can see, like, there's a layer up there. Um, that one's a bunch of cut lines. Um, and if you wanted all of the cut lines to be on a single layer, what you can do is, is you can just hold down the shift key, select all of those layers, go up here to uh, the layer tab, and say uh, merge layers. And now it just put all of those into a single layer. So now I can actually turn on and off those cut lines uh, if you want to. Um, also, if you go up to the view, if you want to, once you're all done and you're like proofing your card, um, you can go up and let's see, this one has um, clear guides. I thought there was a spot where you could either view the guides or turn them off. It doesn't look like you can. Um, and they just stay there no matter, no matter what you do. If you clear the guides, they will not, they will not automatically all come back. Um, I think I was thinking of um, of InDesign. If you're in InDesign, you actually put your guides on a layer. Um, in Photoshop, it doesn't work that way. But if you're in InDesign and you do your guides inside of a layer, you can turn the guides on and off. You can't here. So, yeah, that's, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, remember that this down here would be the front of your card because it's going to fold. This part's going to fold around to the back. Um, and so this is going to be the back. So if you wanted your folded card when you turn it back and forth or like if you flip it on this edge, then you want to design everything that you put up here. You want to flip it upside down. So it's going to be upside down in Photoshop, but when you hold the card in your hand and you flip it over on this edge, um, it will be right reading. You could also set up the front of your card so it's like a normal business card here, right reading, and then this could be laid out um, sideways, you know, so your text could be running this way if you wanted to. Um, but you would just do the same setup, or you could even copy this file, and you would do the same setup for the inside, only you wouldn't necessarily need to put the... Uh, cut lines on the back side because you only need the cut lines on one side but you still need the bleed area so everything would be identical uh, so at this point if you're doing a double sided folded card I would save this so we'll just hit control s we're going to save uh, we'll throw it in the woofoo folder that's okay and we'll say okay and then I would say control shift s and we would maybe say um, back or inside. And then say save. And now we would have two files to work with. And we can go over here, um, say open or recent, and boom. Now we have the double-sided card here. And if we click over to this one, Whoa, it's identical, but this one would be the inside. All right, if you guys have any questions at all, drop them down in the comments below. I know, I don't, like I said, I don't, I'm not going to cover all of the different tools and how to actually design the card. Uh, the idea was just to show you how I would go about setting up the double-sided business card, folded business card, if I were working inside of Photoshop. All right, so if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. And once again, and guys, I will be seeing you on Thursday. So, yeah, take care. See you all next time. Bye-bye.